Decided I'd do a little video on the Bel Air 600. It's Christmas Day, so hoping everybody had a great or good enough Christmas. You know, the main thing's not really the sales and marketing gifts and exchanging and all that. It's more the spirit of, at least to me, you know, Jesus Christ and, you know, salvation through Christ, which is really basically just more like, to me, the solified doctrine of just believing, which is basically John, to me, John 14, 6 through 7, which is it really just 14, 6 is the essence of the way Jesus, the way is just being truthful, like pro-truth, and being for life, you know, pro-life, including others, like the great commandment, you know, the second really loving thy neighbor as you would thyself, and, you know, really following what, you know, the, what God always had said, you know, even through the tons of others, the prophets, and, and Jesus very clearly to the commandments. So following the Ten Commandments, the law, I mean, it's really that simple. So nothing super complicated. But anyways, sales and marketing and cocaine freaks and other idiots on heroin or whatever, alcohol, have really screwed over the holidays and made them these sales and marketing campaigns. But what I'm doing, it, and now with the pandemic with, you know, wow, I, you know, I don't want to go there. So, but the Bel Air 600, I decided I'd bring downstairs um, and get to work on it. And what it looks like, it looks like the exterior is a Cener 2001. Now, keep in mind, this is a, is I going to zoom okay? Yeah, this is made in occupied Japan. Bel Air looks like a Los Angeles company. I forget the date on this. I want to say it's the 50s, early, mid, maybe late. It must be occupied Japan. So actually, it must be 54 or earlier. So it's somewhere in that that era. Heavy duty, of course. Japan finished, I guess. It's one thing I wasn't certain about, but I saw somebody comment, so that might be real Japaning. I thought this cover was missing. I happened to be bringing the, the um, cabinet dust down and this fell out. I'm like, oh cool. So now I gotta kinda look at that a little more and see if any more any more's falling out. I thought this was missing. Now this um it, the innards of this machine, this design, like I said the outside, I gotta verify with this. I think that's the same as what the two zero one is also. I think it's very similar where basically you put the bobbin in and as it fills it'll pop itself out and turn off the engagement. Cause this this has a belt driven on the back side. So this, this design's actually cooler, uh, better, I think, than the 201, at least the models that don't have the belt design. This can actually be put in a treadle. So this could be a treadle machine, but it does have this friction um, section on here for the bobbin winding. But if I understand correctly, I think the 201 has like a, I thought it had like a, the winder, the bobbin spot was down here, so you could actually sew and have a bobbin on. So, like, if I drilled a hole and put another mount, which I probably could drill and tap a hole and get another, they're just oiling holes, get another mount up here, I could probably sew with one and then have a bobbin winding going on at the same time while I'm sewing. So that might be something, a neat hack mod, if I, if I do decide to modify this one. Back to where I was over here, though, after detailing the exterior being a 201, the inside design, if I understand right, let's see if I can get this to focus, this is actually like, it'll go back and forth. Yeah, so if I, if I understand correctly, this is a 66, I think it is. Don't quote me, somebody said a 66 internal. Um, I guess the bobbin's a class 66, but instead of being the 201 where it keeps spinning around design, this one's not the beveled gear design. Um, it's the oscillating back and forth, so I think it's like a 66 design. And the gentleman that confirmed, um, he asked if uh, I could take this off, so I did, and I'll go ahead and just videotape. <laughs> Film and videotape. I still like to use those terms from the high eight days. I guess that's where it lasts. Actually, I did, VH, I did some VHS a little bit. But here's the uh, here's the um, internal. So this design, if I understand right, it's a 66 design, an earlier design, I guess is what they're saying. So I don't, I don't really understand enough yet to be able to detail um, eligibly enough, but... So...
I know it needs oily, it needs cleaning. She's a dusty one. And I dropped my, where my cap go for my, oh here it is. Yeah. What was that? Oh, that's my name said IPA. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave this off, I guess. Leave the light off. I'm gonna flip this over. On our back side, carefully, without anything damaging. And take a look. See, I haven't even inspected underneath much. And I, I think it is what I was thinking. There's, you know, we've got some cleaning to do. Oh, there's some fuzz bombs up in there. Yeah, so I have a little bit of cleaning. And that was the one question they weren't certain about if there's a beveled gear design. They didn't think this was. And it's not. So, no beveled gear design. Really appreciate those groups out there on Facebook. They've been helping out. I've got a little bit on the forums, but I haven't really asked around, and uh, which is a shame because I really should get on the forums and ask concurrently, you know, do that at the same time. So um, that group out there that doesn't like Facebook, um, you know, can provide feedback because, you know, they'll have, they'll have expertise. There's expertise that, hmm, excuse me, will have their own niche um, where... Uh, you know, they, they like certain social media, and that's all. They don't use the other ones. And there's groups, I.O., groups also related to, I, I doubt the Bel Air, but maybe the Occupied Japan builds, I don't know. I know there's vintage uh, Japanese sewing machines group uh, on Facebook, and maybe there is elsewhere. So, anyways, I uh, just want to do an overview. Um, cool to have this cover. I don't have to hack or make something, which would be super simple for this. Um... And, uh, yeah, so this is kind of, this falls with the motorized designs. This is a treadle. So now my next, um, I probably shouldn't comment about it too much until I get into it a little better, but the presser foot. And this, I almost think this presser foot, like, design is more of a, um, not the 66 or 201, but I have to read into. But what I was reading about... I'm actually watching a YouTube video, a gentleman doing free motion quilting. He swapped out the um, presser, f uh, sorry, the presser bar, this bar, with one of the Cener models. So he had the Cener bar and could put Cener presser foots, the, the low shank design attachment. So then with the white rotary, you can use um, maybe with some slight modification to the attachments. I'm thinking also use um, the, because uh, you might need to have some kind of for engaging with 